Hey everybody, today I'm going to be telling you how you can know that the food and treats you feed your dog are nutritionally sound. When you go online to shop uh, for food and treats or at a local store, be sure to always look at the ingredient list of what you're considering. If it has sound ingredients, then you know you're good to go. Look for meat for first ingredient, as well as vegetables sooner after. And the reason for this is that the sooner an ingredient appears on the ingredient list, the more of that ingredient it will be in the food or the treats. So if you see something that's great for it, like pumpkin, early in the list, near first place, rather than far down the list, and then you know that that has a lot of pumpkin in it. However, if you see something like corn first, like some very cheap brands are, then you know that it is mostly corn. And while corn is not necessarily bad for a dog, it's good that for corn to not be among the most plentiful hey. ingredients. This bag of Zook's Crunchy Treats are an example of exactly what I'm talking about. Looking at the ingredient list on the back of the bag, you can see that there are not many ingredients, which is a great thing because unlike very, very cheap treats that are not very good and the same thing is true for food for your dog it has very few ingredients also it don't take long in ingredient list before great ingredients like pumpkin and sweet potato and pea fiber and carrots show up which is also really really good going back to dog food generally there are two main ways to know if the food is going to be healthy for your dog or not Generally, with dry food, look for a cost of around $1.50 per pound. If you see a bag of food that is like 40 or 50 pounds for very, very little cost, way under $1.50 a pound, then that is most of the time, if not every time, going to be a food to completely avoid. Now, here's an example of what I'm talking about that you should entirely avoid. If you look at all of these ingredients, very little beyond corn, if anything, or would be available to go to a grocery store and actually buy. This is an extremely cheap food, in fact, perhaps the cheapest I've ever seen, and it is entirely made up of pretty much everything a dog does not need to have whatsoever. This is the dry food I give to Clary. I also have a homemade recipe. I make it about twice a week. And if you wish to see that, you can click the card above to watch it. And finally, don't be deceived by big beautiful packaging or keywords a company might have put on the front of the packaging of any of the food or treats because regardless of what any of that might say about it being grand and glorious, the ingredient list will always tell you what is good and what is bad, which also means educate yourself if you haven't as to what is good for a dog to eat and what is bad. And with that, thank you so much for watching and for subscribing. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and share it. Have a good day and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.